Fellow journal agents, and welcome to episode 15 of Feed the Beast Infinity. <laughs> I don't know why I've done that. Bonjour, agents, and welcome to episode 15 of Feed the Beast Infinity. I've got no pickaxe, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this uh, dummy dibs here. And uh, let's just quickly make a pickaxe. I've got loads of this ruby stuff. And where's my crafting table? It's been there all along, but <laughs> how could I miss it? Right, okay. Bam! There we go. Another ruby pickaxe. Let's get rid of dummy dibs here. I had to do that, I don't know why, I just it was a bit random. So, we're just going to plonk him there. And, uh, yeah, so, today we're going to start on, hopefully, uh, getting a quarry together, and hopefully, 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 and I'm going to say hopefully one more time, is, it's going to take, we're going to probably take a stack of coal with us, because we're going to go to the house, and we're going to do it that way, because I, I really don't want to be doing this, like, manually. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to... Take all of this. Right, let's make sure I've got everything. I need some gravel. Bam. I got some gravel. We've got some sand. Is that all the sand I've got? No. I must have more than that. Is that all the sand I've got? Oh, man. Don't tell me I'm going to go through this rigmar again. Okay. Sand. Let's just grab the lot. And we're going to need clay. Let's grab that. Okay, so let's, let's take a stroll over to the mansion. I still haven't finished that bridge yet. <laughs> it's been like a silly amount of like episodes. DecoCraft was like episode 8. That's how long it's been. <laughs> wow. We really need to get on the case. So we need to get some sand. Sand is a bit of a chore right now, but sand's not actually that bad. I should have brought some cobblestone. That's ah, too late now. Um, we can actually make sand out and pretty much cobble. And there's a way to do it if you don't know already know, which most of you probably do. And let's go up to the kitchen. This house needs totally, totally doing out. I'll need to live here permanently, not in the, in the workshop. Okay, so we've got loads of stuff here that needs grinding. We're going to concentrate on the iron. First things first, let's give the generator some juice. Let's get this all mashed up. Okay, we've got some iron in the pipelines here. That's quite good. So as you can see, it, the pulverizer is getting on with it. Let's just chuck some of this in here. Can we make any more? Obviously not. Is the output actually going to the output? Let's have a look. Yeah, we should be good. And why are you not accepting? Oh, you are now. Okay. So this is a, a lot quicker way than using the grinder in the workshop. Um, I just haven't got around to sort of like bringing some power, uh, bringing some coal up. So coal's quite efficient when it comes to sort of like burning fuel, but it's not the best. Um, it's better than like cooking. Like this goes like one coal goes down every. Let's have a look. Twenty four seconds. If you put a sapling in there, it's like every one second. So you you can see the difference. And look at this. This is, this is beautiful. Okay. So we've got that. Got that cooking. Okay, so what we're going to need to do as well, we're going to need to make some grout. And we make it with clay, gravel, and sand. You get got quite a bit there. Not Probably not enough as I want. I think you just cook it. Just plonk you in there. And we should get seared bricks. Yes, we do. I'm just trying to remember, so um, you might laugh at me because I'll probably make some really silly mistakes. Because um, I wouldn't say I've been into Minecraft as much recently, so I'm kind of just trying to get back into the swing of it. Um, but it's all coming back to me, I guess. Slowly but surely. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take three of you. And we need a crafting bench. And then we're going to do this. Kind of like you're making a bucket. We're going to make a, a seared faucet. We're going to definitely need one of them. And we're going to need a tank eventually. Which I think we only need six. Let's have a look. Oh, no, no. It's a drain. Do we need a drain? Well, that's cooking. Let's quickly run over back over to the house. And while I'm at it, I'm probably going to grab some cobble and grind the cobble. 
We've got to be careful with that because we'll just end up making glass because the way it's set up at the moment it will grind and then it will cook. So if we grind cobblestone into sand, the sand will then cook into glass. So we want to kind of not really put that in straight away. So let's just quickly run over here. That's the one little thing I don't like about this island is those blizz. The blizz is they're quite annoying. They get trapped inside the house, like in the structure of my house. Okay, we've got a casting basin, we've got the seared bricks, and we've got a casting table, two of them. Okay, so we do need the drain. We're probably going to need some glass anyway. Um, let's just take let's take two stacks and turn it into into sand. And I shall meet you back at the mansion when I've cooked up all when I've made all the sand and everything I need to make. Okay, so with everything cooking, we're going to make kind of like a chest formation here with the seared bricks, which gives us a smeltery controller. Um, so we're pretty much getting there now. So all we got to do now is really, in theory, what's this? Might you smell in? Yeah, is that a new book? I think this is a new book, or is it not? Or have I seen this one before? I swear I've seen this before. It just looks new. Okay, never mind. Can we? Make, I wonder how we make. I just had a brainwave and it didn't. It didn't plan out. Because I think you can make Ender into into Obsidian. Not hundred percent sure. I need a way of getting uh, Ender pearls fast, but I, I'm trying to think and I can't think of anything. Right, anyway, back on track. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make sure that we can grab something that can burn. We've got anything that can burn? That I guess. That I guess. Hopefully that will burn. Right, because what we need to do, I think we need to make a bit of glass. And I think that might do it. If not, that should. So hopefully um, what we're going to do is we're going to make pretty much the main things that we need for this, this kind of build. I think this is it. Yeah, there it is. A seared tank. A seared tank. I think that's pretty much it. So while, basically I've got a load of cobblestone in the pulverizer, I've turned the output off, um, so that way it doesn't turn into glass. And yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much it. And uh, I will grind the rest um, at another time. But we are getting there. We're slowly but surely getting there. So we've got loads of sand coming, and the um, the byproduct is gravel, which is kind of good. So yeah, all good. Right, um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this smeltery, whether I'm going to put it outside or inside. I'm probably just going to bung it inside for now. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make it in the floor. Can we make it in the floor? Have we got a second layer? Not really. Um, I don't really want to make it in the floor then. I think we might have to do it downstairs. That's where I've done two layers. Okay, what have we got here? I think this should be more than enough. So let's go. I think now you can do a two by two area. I can't be sure, but I'm going to try it anyway. So let's just chip out the floor and we're gonna get a seared bricks like this. Like that. Okay. This is probably one of the smallest ones you could probably possibly make. And then what you want to do think the minimum you can do is like literally like this I think that is minimal that's pretty minimal I hear a zombie it's a zombie villager okay let's put the get you out of the way put you up there for now um, what we can do is we can probably put this like this so we can go uh, we need the controller that's essential it needs to be on the outer edge it, I don't think it matters too much and then what we need to do here is we need to make, I think it's the tank. There we go. Once you get this flaming icon, that means you've done it correctly and, and it's ready to go. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks weird, but that will do. The higher that you make it, so in this case, we're going to make a smelt route. We're going to make a uh, the, the casting table there. I think we're even going to go into the floor just because it's easy. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make this the drain. Where's that? Did I make the drain? I made the drain, didn't I? 
Okay. No, I didn't. <gasps> Enderman. I need you. I need you. I need you, man. I need you. Oh, too low. We're going to take, take this guy out. Whatever. However way we can. I think we'll use the bricks for now. Gonna make a too high shelter. Look at him. Come at me, bro. Oh, he's gone down there. This could turn ugly. Really? He's not gone outside. He must be in here. It's outside. It's raining. They don't like the wet. They don't like the 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 wet. Right, oh. Oh, he's here! I can hear him. Where are you? Bet you're up here, aren't you? No? So, where are you, bro? He's in the house somewhere. He's close. Got loads of little like ledges on the outside of the uh, the outside of the um. I better go and install some of this XP. I've moved the XP thing over here in next to the thing where I'm going to put the uh, enchanting table. We'll probably get to a better enchanting table later on, like with the modded version, because they're a bit more precise. But for now, we're we're golden. I don't know where he's gone. If you want me to be honest, right? Anyway, back on track. Damn it. He's around here somewhere. If I see him, I'll, I will get him. So what we're going to do is we're going to literally build our little thing. So basically what I'm, I want this for is I want this to make better tools to be able to mine with. If, if you remember, I made a... St Where are you? Oh, there you are. Come on, bro. Where is he? I will take the ender pearl. I think he's gone. Damn it. No, he's not. He's still here. So where are you? I bet he's gone upstairs. Oh, this is like... Trolling me. It must be under the ledge. Anyways, back on track. I really ain't gonna get that ender pearl, am I? Damn it! I need ender pearls. Need ender pearls really bad. Okay. Uh, and I'm gone off track. I know what. I was going upstairs. I was doing something, and he put me off. It's all the Enderman's fault. Okay, so if we do that, we can make a drain, and then what we do is we put the drain. I think it's like this side. So, oh no. So the little hole p points towards you. So you need to go like that. There we go. And then that little faucet thing that I made, you do that, and that's that. Pretty cool. I think we're almost golden to make this to make this work there's one thing that's missing I think what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna go and make another faucet where are you Enderman? I don't know where he is <laughs> he's trolling me he must be under shelter because it's raining outside I've got those Blizzards kicking around. Right, anyway, so let's get rid of this hole, get a hole in the floor, put a cast and basin in, so then we got best of both worlds. So what happens is that can make blocks, that can make uh, like tools. Okay, so what we're going to need now is we're going to need to make a bucket and we're going to need to go and get some lava. Uh, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm probably not going to take it out of... Whoa, it's a blizz. I'm not, probably not going to take it out of here. I'm going to go down into the grid, and I'll meet you back at the uh, Ginger Mansion. Okay, so I'm down in the grid. Found one of these all well, two of these all berry bushes. They're always good to have, so always collect these because you can eat the essences to be able to get experience. Easy way to get experience, or even even so, having them lying around is another form of um, a, another decent way to get experience um, as and when you need it. So experience is pretty good in the game. So there's diamonds. I can't believe I didn't see you. Oh my god. Oh, that means one thing. That means we can make those diamond transport pipes. Oh, yeah, son. Right, let's have a look down here, because I don't think I've been down here. Lots of iron and lava, which is what we want. Okay, we're doing... Oh, good shape. Those diamonds, I can't believe I just found some of them. Oh, I've got some gold here. Cause not what I normally do is down here. I, I miss a lot of it because I, I'm going to branch it anyway at some point. So I kind of just like leave it be. Um, but in this case, we found another diamond. But that's for another episode, I guess. We can make diamond transport pipes. So we can actually be one more step towards making our quarry. Which is all good. I'm well pumped for that. So we've got a bucket of lava now. I'm going to quickly uh, run to the workshop make that transport pipe because yeah why not we're gonna do that now before I forget so we've got just about enough diamonds to be able to do that now so what I'm gonna do just in case I haven't got any sand is pinch this bit of sand here and make some glass with it and then what we're gonna do is we're going to make that pipe which just leaves the dynamos I guess Oh, and the tank. We need a second tank. Okay, because we've already got one tank in the nether. We need to make another identical tank um, for now, for temporarily, to, um, you know, shift the lava around the world. So, let's go here. And let's cook. Oh, hello, Mr. Iron. I didn't know I had you in there. Okay. Oh, I had loads of sand on me anyway, derp. Okay, so... What we got to do is we got to get two diamonds like that, and then we just wait for the glass, and all will be revealed with those diamond transport pipes if you don't already know. Don't worry, to be continued with that. But I'm just glad I've got got that diamond. That diamond was that was awesome. Right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna plonk these all berry bushes down somewhere as well. Probably just gonna stick them here. There we go, that will do. And let's go back to the mansion quick and finish off this episode where we've got our smeltery. So, the smeltery enables us to um, basically upgrade our tools. So, you can get things like cobalt tools and stuff like that. Um, I can't remember what the name of the other one is. Uh, forgets. But there's, there's some really powerful tools, like vanilla tools, not like you know techie tools there's like powerful vanilla tools you can make your tools like regenerate their their durability and stuff like that there's all sorts of really crazy stuff you can do with tinkers construct so what we want to do is get this bucket of lava right click on this seared tank there we go hopefully that will not set fire to my floor because if it does i'm going to be in a pickle uh, this house will go up in flames pretty darn quick so as you can see um this is the area that you can put ores in so in this case, what I would, if I wanted to make some iron, I could do so. But um, oh, where is my, uh, where's all my tinker stuff? I think it's back at the the thing. But what we'll do on, on another episode is we'll probably um, upgrade the hammer um, at another time. But what happens is, is we can increase this. This is only four. There's only four space because in the middle here, there's only four. If we get some seared bricks and make this go higher. So let's go one higher. It should go to eight. Oh, there we go. Eight. There you go. Eight slots. So we could be cheeky and we could make it go higher once more. Let's just put a light there. A light there. Because I don't want anything spawning. So the higher you go, the more like stuff you can put in. 
I don't ha know how much I can fit in here now. That's pretty, pretty, getting pretty tall. It's not like the biggest one you can ever make, but it's big enough for the house for now. Look at that. It's like a chimney, isn't it? It's like a little chimney. I could have made it one bigger, actually. I could have made it come out here, I suppose. But now I'll do it for now. Um, I'll probably change anything. If I want to change anything, I'll just do little subtle changes off camera, which I never get around to doing. And there you go. We've got loads more space. So in theory, we can we can melt loads of stuff up, but we can't really do anything yet because we need to make the templates. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cook up some gold, and I don't know if I've got any gold upstairs in the kitchen, but I know for a fact that we're going to need gold for this for this little topic thing here. Luckily, luckily this that was all blocking. Otherwise, the gold would have been already cooked. Um, I think you do get double the income so let's say um, I think that's like 34 there so I'm not 100% sure but I think it it does work kind of like a pulverizer where you get more than what you bargain for so as you can see you can see the little uh, bars going up that means it's cooking it's kind of like the furnace but instead of cooking one at a time it will cook all of them at a time uh, up to however high you want so that's that's pretty good. So we can now concentrate on making um, some casts. They're called casts, and then we can literally make better tools. Because at the moment, my stone hammer, which I think is upstairs, I can't be sure. I think it's over here. No, my chisel is. I think it's in the workshop then. Um, basically, the stone one can only do um, stone properties. For example, um, it cannot harvest redstone or anything like that so if we were to make an iron one for example an iron hammer it's not too expensive to repair and also we can literally mine diamonds and all sorts if we were to go into the grid so that's all good so that's exactly what I'm planning to do so guys thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this episode we finally got the smeltery into the mansion um, one step at a time with this series it's kind of like yeah they're not big steps each episode is not going to be a great big step in in the game like for example making a smeltery is not a great big step but it is a step nonetheless so i hope you enjoyed this episode next episode not sure what we're going to do um but i'm sure i'm line i'll line something up ready to go so um we've got 36 there so what i could do in theory is i could go like that Oh, I know why that's not working. I know exactly why that's not working. I don't know if you've seen what I've done, but if I do this. Did you see that that, that was a normal block? Yeah, well, that's why it's not working. So if we go like this, I don't know if that's going to get rid of all the gold. I hope not. No. I think it's only if you get rid of the base, the base of it, it will, it will get rid of it. So now I put the drain there, right click, that will fill up in the basin. And what the basin does, it enables you to make blocks of whatever's in there. In this case, it's gold. And then once that stops, that will solidify. There we go, into a block of gold. Look at that. How cool does that look? That is cool. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to probably stick this back into the, uh, the smeltery itself. And because I'm going to need that anyway. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.